Hey y'all, it's your girl Jamaya, and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? Your girl is doing great, okay? It is a Saturday, your girl don't have work. It's the last weekend before fall break is over, so you know, we just soaking it all in until I gotta go back, y'all. I am not ready. But in today's video, I thought I would do a what's on my iPhone video. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've had it for not that long. I can't really remember when I got it, but I haven't had it that long. I did just recently update it to the new iOS, I think it's 18, let me check. Yes, the iOS 18, so my phone is officially up to date because your girl still had like the iOS 15. I do not ever update my phones because if it doesn't do it automatically, I'll just forget about it or not think of it. So I finally updated it and I wanted to kind of show y'all what I have going on, okay? I heard that the new iPhone 16 just came out and apparently they got a pink one and pink is your girl's favorite color, so I might have to cop that. But for right now, we're gonna have to get as much life out of this phone as possible because one thing about me is I do not like to get new things when what I have is already working just fine. So this one's gonna have to last a little while until we just can't use it no more, okay? But anyways, let's hop into the video. All right, so this is my home screen when you first unlock my phone. Just a picture of me and Bay, and if you click it, it's a picture of just me by myself. I really like that iPhone gives you that option to have multiple pictures on your home screen. You can have it shuffle randomly. You can have it by click you can have it to change every hour but me personally I like the tap method and also my students like that method because they'll see my phone and they'll just tap the screen and see how it changes pictures and I don't know why but they get a kick out of that and then since I've had the phone I've had quite a few um, wallpapers never figuring out what I want sometimes I want it to be just me sometimes I want it to be just me and my man but mostly as you can see here it's mostly me and Andrew <laughs> I like how whatever screensaver that I pick I can always go back to the other one I had originally if I want to go back you know I can I can still save those on here. So when I slide up, this is what you see. I have Widget Smith on my phone, which lets me like decorate different little custom widgets on here. So I have the calendar at the top. It was shows today's day. You know, it's pink, your girl's favorite color, like I mentioned, okay, October 12th. And then I have two medium sized widgets here on the phone. And in the top one, these are both from Pinterest. Like I create boards on Pinterest and then you can customize your widget to have like your Pinterest boards on there. And the way I have mine set is that they rotate every day. So every 24 hours, a new picture will pop up. So the top one is my my melanin widgets that I have on Pinterest and it's just basically like different black girl hairstyles and quotes and things of that nature and then at the bottom one is always something inspirational as far as like the Bible goes or God so right now it says Godfidence you know confidence confidence you know so that's what the bottom one is sometimes it'll be like a scripture or another quote a motivating quote from like the bible things of that then in the top left you can see my messages my photos my google photos and my notes i'm not gonna click on my notes because i keep a lot of personal information in there that y'all don't need to be you know nosy okay y'all need to know all that but in my messages just have my people pinned i have my fiance my besties my other best friend halia my maid of honors my bachelorette girls it says maya's batches get it Think about it, you'll get it. And then I have my uh, wedding coordinator on here and then just, you know, regular messages and whatnot. I like now with the new update as well. I don't know if y'all know this, but if you hold down the app, it'll say require face ID. You can do that on every app on your phone now. So if I put require face ID and I click it, it's gonna say that it's gonna require face ID every time I wanna open up that app. So if I hit require face ID, it's gonna get my face and then boom, anytime I try to open my messages, it's gonna ask for my face ID before it'll open up. Which is really nice, which I don't need that because I'm a whole honesty over here, baby. I ain't got nothing to hide. So I'm gonna turn that back off. And then I have my photos and Google photos, like I mentioned, not gonna open those up either because I have a lot of batch work going on right now as far as content creating, and I'm not ready for that to be out yet. So anyways, have those two on there. And the reason I have Google photos is because when my camera roll is too full, it all saves to my Google photos and I can delete everything out of my camera roll. That way I have space to take more photos and videos and whatnot. So it's nice to have them all backed up in one spot and then I can delete them off my regular photos app so I can save storage. So I have that and then my notes. And then down here in the bottom right, I have social. This is my first folder. I use this folder more than any folder on my phone. So I have my Facebook, my Snapchat, my Instagram. I have X, which is Twitter. Hate that they changed it to X. Messenger, FaceTime, my time hop, which like shows me like memory lane. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all what's on here. It just shows like photos from like years ago. Like right here, it says five years ago and it's just me and Bay when we went to Pigeon Forge and we were riding goat carts and things. And I have a streak going on. So I have to open the app every day and it's been going on for like seven years, y'all. Like look at my niece from eight years ago. Look at her. 
Here's me and my cousin, Nut Be That Guy. Y'all go subscribe to his YouTube channel, y'all. Look at us, this was nine years ago. So I was like, what, 18, nine years ago? Wow, that's crazy. And then look, 2,846 Tom Pops in a row, y'all. Seven year club. I have been opening Tom Pop every day for the past seven years. Once I hit like a certain mark of something, I have to keep going. Like I hate messing up a streak of any kind. So here we are. <laughs> that might sound a little crazy, but hey, whatever. <laughs> All right, moving on. Then again, I have my Google on here, just like regular Google search, and then TikTok, and then if I slide over, I have threads, which I never use, but it's still part of social media, so it's on the back page. And then I have my utilities here, things. I use these, but not a lot. I, I'll go to my settings a lot, there's my camera. I don't really go to my camera that way because if your phone is logged, you can just use a little camera button down there in the bottom right. So that's usually how I get to my camera. I don't ever open anything else really on here. And then if you see the little prayer hands, that is my little Bible section I have TC which is transformation church is the online church that I listen to and then I have my Bible and then I have the life application Bible as well it kind of breaks it's kind of like a study Bible but I don't use it a lot which is why you can see that it's offloaded so but the last thing I looked at on my Bible was Galatians 5 in the New Living Testament and it's basically about fruits of the kingdom it was in a whole message that Pastor Mike Todd did it was really good y'all should go watch it okay I don't remember what it's called but it's like something about um, fruits of the kingdom go watch it and then down here it says work these are just things that I use to lock in when I go when I clock in every morning at work I work at an elementary school so this is how I clock in and out and then the other one is how I look up bus I mean not buses car riders and things of that nature so like I can watch when kids are going to their cars and things like that and then down at the bottom just real simple and basic I have my phone app my music app and then the Safari I use those three quite often that's why they're at the bottom I think these were actually defaulted down there and then my messenger app was defaulted at the bottom too but I took the messenger app out and put it at the top I left the other three at the bottom let's see what your girl was listening to looks like the last song that I was listening to was by Stevie Wonder never dreamed you'd leave in summer it is such a great song y'all um the first time i ever heard it was when i was watching poetic justice which is one of my favorite movies and i've been obsessed with it ever since and yeah that's the last song that i was listening to so that's my whole first page and then if we slide over to the second page boom more apps <laughs> so just like the first page it's kind of set up i have like the um big app at the top the two me medium widgets and then on the second page it's the two medium widgets top and bottom and then the big one in the middle and right there in the middle you can see me and my three best friends i love my girls okay and it's rare that we all get to be in a picture together so why not have this picture on my screen you know look at my girls y'all and this was the happiest day of my life this is when your girl got engaged okay and fun fact okay julie was very much pregnant in this picture um so in her glass, it's just water. No, 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 I lied, it's juice. I can't remember which juice, but I remember we put juice in there because she had to be involved, you know? But obviously being pregnant, you can't be drinking, so. Real cute though, I love my girl so much. And I just love that picture, I just do. And then at the top, y'all, why am I just now noticing this? At the top, it says EST 1994. I was born in 1997. Why did I not notice that that said 1994? I could have swore it said 1997. I cannot tell y'all how long that's been on my phone. I'm gonna have to fix that. Actually, let's do it now real quick. I'm just gonna go to Pinterest. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your girl was born in 1997. I did not notice that that said 1994, y'all. I guess because I had typed in 1997 and I just assumed that the pictures would all say 1997. I, I am so mad. <laughs> Well, at least I can show y'all how I change my widget. So I'm just gonna click on this one that says 1997. Make sure it has the right numbers. Well, these are cute too. But I'm gonna use this one. Sometimes it'll let you save it to your phone, but if it doesn't, I'll just kind of screenshot it. Boom, crop it. Make sure it's centered, like it, done, save to photos. So now I'm gonna go to my widget, click on it. I'm still mad y'all, y'all don't even know. I'm gonna click on photo, go to my photos, click on the one that I like, which is the 1997, and I'm gonna hit save. So now when I go out, I'm just gonna change it. Oh, it already changed. So 1997 is when your girl was born, okay? I cannot, I cannot believe that that said 1994, and it's been on there for a while, y'all. That is embarrassing. Anyways, let's move on. So I have my birth year at the top up there. At the bottom it says, keep going, you got this, and then it has my steps. Please ignore that your girl only has 587 steps today and it is 407, okay? Your girl has not left the house. So, you know, today is just not a moving kind of day, so mind y'all's business okay <laughs> but 
But so I, I keep track of my steps down there and then let's move on to the folders. I am someone who hates when all your apps are out. So all my apps have to be in a folder or I'm gonna lose my mind. Except for like the few exceptions, like the first page that has like the ones that I use a lot. That's the only exception. I cannot have multiple apps all over the place. Also, I cannot stand Oh, I can't stand opening up a phone and there's like badges like you know if you have like a message or a notification it'll have like a little bubble and like a one or a two or however many notifications you have on that app that will drive me crazy I literally go to my settings and turn all of that off because there's no way I can look at that and then if some of my apps that aren't turned off as soon as I see a one or something pop up I click it open and I get rid of it I cannot my OCD self I just can't handle that I can't but anyways the top app I have my little money section it's just all my little uses of money I have cash app charm credit card to check my credit score my gmail I don't know why that's with money but it's been there for a long time so we're gonna leave it there um I have my tax prep which is just H&R block for when I do my taxes every year and then I have my utilities app PayPal tipsy is when I serve I don't really use it because I don't really serve so that's just keeping track of like any kind of tips that I got and then I have my bank on there and then going over is my YouTube folder these are all the apps that I use for anything YouTube related or picture editing or anything like that. Um, I'm in this folder a lot. There are some things that I don't use as much as I used to like my iMovie. When I first started my YouTube channel I edited all of my videos on iMovie. That's before I even had my MacBook so I was editing them on my phone y'all. It's so crazy. I'm not encouraging you to go back and watch that very first video but <laughs> if you do you can tell that it was edited on iMovie on my phone at that. I feel like it because I still use iMovie on my MacBook just on my phone terrible so I don't ever use it anymore on here so that's why it's offloaded I have YouTube tracker it just tracks your progress on YouTube but YouTube studio is the one that I use the most because that one tells me all my analytics it tells me when my videos are uploaded I can schedule or edit a video time or anything like that I can put my thumbnails on there very helpful um, I can see my progress and all of that kind of stuff and then TubeBuddy same thing I really use TubeBuddy the most to search hashtags things that are trending and things like that to help with my channel progression so very helpful Fonto I used to use all the time when I was editing thumbnails I don't use it as much I did recently click into it to edit a thumbnail let me see oh this ain't even for my thumbnail this was something I did for school so we have little um, corner uh, not corners we have little houses for our little kids and this is for our kindergartners and I made like little signs because it's like a street thing that we did and that's the last time I use this I just I don't use font as much as I used to I more so use canva now to do like thumbnails and then I have the eraser app that's what I use to like take out backgrounds or at least that's what I used to use I don't really use that much either but I, these are just some things I can't get rid of they're things that like you might need one day you know so it's still there documents I don't know why that's on here I never use that I have before I know I have I just can't remember for what that's why it's offloading cap cut that's more so like a TikTok thing like when you try those little TikTok trends I'll go to cap cut or when I'm making like subscribe buttons and things like that like subscribe to my YouTube channel or whatever I make that on cap cut so that's what that is and then that IQ also kind of like YouTube studio I'm um, just good at tracking progress and giving you tips as far as growing your channel and um, giving you video ideas things like that and then on the next slide I have PixArt I use that a lot too sometimes if I don't do like a collage in Canva I'll do it in PixArt very helpful very easy to use too um, you can just see a few things that I've done like this right here I did this for like a post <clears throat> my goodness I did this for a post on Instagram so real cute you know y'all don't mind that feet picture up there but it's real cute ain't it <laughs> and then Pixar Nova is what I used to use to cut out backgrounds. I honestly could delete them. I'm not going to. But <laughs> I used to use that to take off backgrounds of pictures when I first got started. But again, don't really use it. That's why it's offloaded. Retouch, also something. Uh, oh, actually I do use retouch. I don't know why that's offloaded. I should click that. Because like if there's a photo and I have like a smudge on my face or whatever, I can go in there and click it and it'll just take like a little mark off. Or if I have a bump on my face one day and I want to take it off, super easy to go in and click gone. So I use that quite a bit. Remini, I use that to make my images sharper, which is crazy because everybody started using that app for like AI stuff and I had been using the app forever I didn't even know you could do all that stuff on there I literally purposely use that app to make my thumbnails sharper so that they're more clear on my channel and then Canva I already talked about that's what I use to like create the thumbnail mostly so then I have my food folder food 
your girl loves to eat okay I love to eat so these are the app these are the ones that I use the most I don't I haven't used chicken salad chick in a while but I have Starbucks your girl stay at Starbucks chick-fil-a Domino's my fitness pal is what I use to track my calories and things like that so I just keep that in the food folder chicken salad chick smoothie king buffalo wild wings sonic Panera then I have crumble Chipotle McDonald's Little Caesars IHOP Taco Bell Zaxby's Panda Express Papa John's Pizza Hut Firehouse Subs Krispy Kreme and Cold Stone those are my main food apps anytime I don't know what I want to eat I'll scroll through here and be like oh that sounds good and I need to download the Wingstop app I don't know why I do this all the time I need to get the Wingstop app because baby I recently had them and so good yeah these are the apps I use the most as far as food goes though you can see the ones that are offloaded like chicken salad chip ch chicken salad chick chipotle ahop I haven't used those in a long time I don't know why smoothie kings not offloaded because I can't remember the last time I got a smoothie from smoothie king next is my travel folder it's just my maps my fitness rings like shows my activity life 360 me and Andrew share our locations that way also with um, find my iPhone on I Apple we use it that way too I have rings so I can see my cameras around my house uber I don't really use Uber unless like I'm out like in a big city or something and we need to get somewhere so that's why it's offloaded. Top Golf, I've only been once but I had to download the app while I was there so that's why that's there. I don't know why it's in travel but hey. And then State Farm, that's purposely in travel because it was my insurance for my car. Travel, car, you know, makes sense. And then moving on to the bottom right, I have my music. I just have podcasts. Music is an app that I used to use a long time ago, y'all, before you could get Apple Music so easy. Like back then you used to have to buy all your songs individually on Apple Music. You don't have to do that anymore. But music used to be the it, y'all. I used to tell everybody to get it. I could download any song off YouTube and just listen to it. App closed and all, it was really nice. And for some reason, I can't bring myself to delete it because it's not something that people use anymore, but all my stuff is still on there. Like if I click on it right now and it redownloads, all my stuff is there and I just can't get rid of it, y'all. It feels very nostalgic to me. <laughs> and then I have my YouTube app. I don't know why that one's not in the YouTube folder section, but I don't know, it just makes more sense to be with the music. So I have my YouTube app. Epidemic Sound is what I use to put my music on my videos. I think I pay like $15 a month to get non-copyrighted music. Really good, check them out. Pandora, don't really use it that much, but every now and then hey and then shocks that's the earphones that I have um, that I had got I did a whole well they were in a whole video I did a review on them and everything real nice earphones got that in there and then in my extras I have my Google Home I have Pinterest Amazon the flow app all my girlies know about the flow app okay it's how we track our cycles and other things okay pages that's where um, I originally was like documenting my sub plans or my wedding guest list and stuff like that I use that a lot the widget smith app that's how I get those cute little widgets on my phone shop and Etsy I'm on shopping y'all know Dropbox Teladoc Blue Cross Blue Shield that is like my insurance and then Timu I only recently started using Timu since I'm getting married and they have some good stuff on there y'all so I do have the Timu app and yeah I'm not really a big online shopper so these don't really get used that much but when I need them they're there and then in my extras, I have like my streaming platforms. I don't know why the health app is in there, but it's there, so we're just gonna leave it. But I have my Hulu, my Netflix, my Disney Plus, BET Plus, and ESPN. Um, these are like really the only things, the only source of like entertainment that I watch. Um, and YouTube, but YouTube is in the music folder, but yeah. And then on my countdown, y'all, the countdown, this is for me and Andrew when we get married. We officially have 356 days, seven hours, 41 minutes until I do, baby. Look how cute we look, y'all look at my man we just so cute this was from you know our engagement party it was a ball i wish i could go back to this day almost every day this was the best day of my life y'all no joke but yeah we're getting close 356 days baby and anytime i open this app it starts playing the song that we got engaged to which is when i come to you well, i'm sorry when it comes to you by friday so good but i ain't gonna play it because copyright but so good go listen to it so yeah I only have the two pages and then if you slide over these are all the other apps that I just don't keep on my regular home screen and yeah I think that's pretty much it I feel like my phone is pretty basic you know she is a little worn down I'm gonna have to get a new case on the back I have like my little wallet that I keep my cards in it's a uh, mag safe so it just easily comes on and off my nieces and nephews they love pulling this on and off y'all and then I don't even know what color my phone is I think I have the black one hold on let me see does this indicate what color your phone is? Yeah, I have the black one. Real sleek and cute. I never take my phone out of the case because as you can see from my screen protector, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it is very much boogered up. You probably can't see it, but there are scratches and my screen protector is hanging on for its dear life. I need to clean this. 
but yeah i never ever ever take my screen i mean not my screen protector i never take my case off because knowing me i will shatter this entire phone and this is just an apple uh, magsafe case i love it because it's pink you know but again she's worn out i need a new one as you can see like i have dents and scratches all in it like it is chipped up and then look at the bottom y'all like a whole chunk missing out of it but i love these little cute camera protectors that andrew got for me and have little diamonds on them one of them did crack and like the film part came off but this part stayed on and i'm just gonna leave it on because it's cute and it really don't do much it's truly there for like the aesthetic but yeah that is all that is on my iphone 15 pro max i am definitely an apple girl i can't do a google pixel or anything else apple hands down i have apple everything got an apple watch apple phone i got a mac Book. I got AirPods. I got an iPad. I like your girl, Apple. Apple, top tier. But I'm about to go clear these apps off my phone because another thing about me is I cannot have a million apps open. That will drive me crazy. So I'm gonna go swipe them off. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to your girl's channel if you haven't already. Okay. I love you guys so 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 very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.